And so I saw an article here, and it's entitled, um, A Better Way, uh, uh, Those Who Have Dropped Out of School Could Drop Back In. And, and this is good for journalists and for you know, certain people and certain interest groups and so on. But as a teacher, I, I see this as a lot of problems. I dropped out of school. I went to the last class that was in this school, and uh, my birthday, I was 16 at the go. My uh, parents couldn't afford to send me to high school, so I went to work. And I saved up some money. You can imagine, in the 70s, I saved a thousand dollars. And then, you know, spent it up there, family this, family out smart, and here and there. And um, then I saw a magazine where college education was a thousand dollars a year. Yeah, it was a thousand dollars a year in uh, 1970. And I said, look at that, I just had a thousand dollars. I would need passage and other things, and so on. So I went back to try to save the next thousand. And then uh, I quit and I went and I did a religious uh, ministry thing. And I was able to get on to college and, and, and did, you know, my stint and so on. Now, these guys here, as I said, I taught in Florida. And I taught the school where dropouts were returning at, two schools like that. And I thought that being a poor black, living in the hood, it might have been a happy understanding skills to work with these guys. Yeah, but I didn't even know what I was getting into. You know, um, I recall uh, it's in this class, and uh, I turn my back to write something to war. You can't even turn it back to these guys. This guy come behind me and point out as if he has a gun and pull him to an everybody laugh in class. So I turn around and saw it, you know. And uh, this other young lady was cussing me and telling me this and that and so on. And then she suddenly said, I'm, I'm going to be good. You were my favorite teacher, and she started doing the work. And then during the class, she was setting up like she's a lesbian. She and her lesbian girl, they were talking how they was going to spend the weekends with each other and all this kind of lesbian game. And then she come with a trick how um, her favorite uncle died in South Carolina, and she's going to the funeral. No, no, no. Everybody's going, but she's not going. Uh, she's trying to continue that she's trying to be a good student. I say, look, uh, you go on to the funeral, and when you come back, I could assist you to make up the time and what you've done and so on. And you can get back in, in stride. She said, no, I, I'm just staying home. And I said, okay, I get this one. She's thinking in terms of, I'm going to say, well, you know what, uh, Sunday, I will come and pick you up and we go for breakfast. No, 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 hanky panky, no nothing, uh, and so on. But you can't do that. Because it looked to me like she was a cop or something, right? Uh, bad school with these, these kids, and then, you know, she played that near me. That was the government trying to lock me up there. Because here, now, Sunday morning, I said we were going to meet for, um, uh, you know, hamburger at uh, Burger King. They'd be in the parking lot. They'd be all by my house and right in behind me and so on. As long as I pass that area, it's on. I'm, I'm done. I pull that parking lot. They come behind me and stay there. Get on the ground. And she crying. Oh, I'm trying to abuse. You know what I mean? This kind of thing. I mean, that's the way it seems to me it's going to go. And um, I believe that I've seen students drop out when I was going to school too. They developed adult the attitudes, they had girlfriend, they had their job and so on, and they felt like nobody could tell them what to do. You can't spank them in the whole nine yards. And uh, they hold the, the, the rod and they try to fight the teachers and talking back to the teachers and all the stuff. So they say, you got to go, you know. And his mom would always come and tell him, don't beat him and this, that, that. So she, they say, well, you take him and, and teach him, you know. You go ahead. Well, I don't know what happened to him after that. Um, so these students here dropping out in America where we have all these resources and they're getting help, they're getting the school books and they're getting free education, all this premise. Uh, I mean, it's obviously the students don't have the abilities or they've done things that have sort of curtailed that sort of, uh, uh, you know, ability, drugs, alcohol, they got girlfriend, they got sex and all that. And when you're doing stuff like that, you need to get a job so you can take care of those things and, and, and working and studying, it's a problem. Uh, because they don't study in the first place, and then with a job, <laughs> it's like they'll be tired now to come to school to sleep. Um, the court also says, well, you know what, I would not send you to jail if you don't get a high school diploma. So they're just cheapening a high school diploma. When they come to school, they want to play criminal. I, I recall some of them would be gambling in class. I mean, I got to say, hey, put all that stuff and stop this gambling. Now, we have work to do. You can't get too funny when you to attack him in your and um, the school also is getting some money to them, so you just can't write them up too much. Uh, I recall someone just sitting in class and going from class to class. I see you got to do my work, bro. 
And when I, I, I give them what they deserve and what they qualify and what they have right, they go to the principal and change it because you see you know, some money's coming down for them and if they have a problem, it's going to be a problem. So when the courts send them to school, um, you know, they don't know the problems. I mean, they may get a diploma because you got to promote them socially. And um, I, I, I've been recycling around open. And you hear the guys at the corner. You can see the adjust between high school and college age. And they're talking, man, I was brilliant in school, man. I, 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 I went to go to college, but I just wait and this and that and stuff. And in the meantime, they're just picking up some felonies. You hang in the corner doing drugs. You know, police pull him through, you know what I mean? So by then he's ready to go to school. He got his girl with his babies. Uh, he got a couple of felonies. So even if he graduated, it's a waste of time because uh, who want to hire this guy? Whether to do a background check and so on. Um, so that my, my suggestion is that when guys you know, understand that education has a special way to go, the parents and they understand it, you got to stay away from romance. You got to stay away from working unnecessarily because school is important. You've got to do your work. You have to study hard. You have to prepare for college and prepare for a life and prepare to make a contribution and so on. And um, it could be that they don't have the ability and so the, the work is daunting and then of course they're not even doing what needs to be done because who knows who has abilities. You ought to conclude that the person doesn't have ability you've got to keep failing. But if they were studying, if they were had the right attitude, to listen and be humble and so on, um, you know, it would help. Um, so, I mean, if the drop out, get them, you know, to help you pick cabbage and, and tomatoes and, and cotton and so on. I mean, you have to bring in the Mexicans and foreigners and all that. When we have these folks who will think that that work is beneath them, but look, man, you can't finish school as your job. Don't plant corn, don't pick corn, you know? And, um, if you get smart down the road and you, you, you know, you're going to do what it takes to get it done, you know, fine. But some way, somehow, the, you know, dreams of, man, I'd like to go to, oh, by the way, I was in a school. And this guy said he wants to go to Yale. So I talked to another teacher, I said, this guy, he wants to go to Yale. Is he serious? I mean, I figured that a black guy to go into Yale, he has to do a lot of work. Got to, you know, know how to get there. And um, I was saying that, how can we get this guy there? But he just explained that I want to go to Yale because, you know, that will get you and we're going to try to assist them a lot. And, um, you know, he's just running on with the regular ones who ain't trying to get anywhere. One day I heard him person somebody said, I was surprised because, uh, I mean, you know, he, he was trying to distinguish himself as being different. He wants to go to Yale. I uh, didn't ask him what he wants to do. Um, maybe that would help me to figure whether you're really serious or not. And, um, you know, he's not prepared to do what it takes to get to Yale. So, um, I would like to see everybody succeed. I would like to see students uh, achieve a lot. I'd like to see them, you know, be on top of the ball and to be good citizens and to make a contribution and avoid many of the tough problems, the economic problems and all these problems that we have. But, I mean, being realistic, um, you know, if the guy drops out, unless we can solve that problem, and, and it's something that was truly the reason, you know, um, he wasn't studying hard, um, he was in the wrong clique. But if he doesn't have the ability, I mean, we might help him to get a diploma, he might even get a degree. But so what, what's he going to do? I, I recall um, this lady, and she told me she's single, I have an associate of arts in college. She said she had people to take notes, she had money coming all over, this and that and whatever. And what's her real job she wants to do? She was able to get some people to get her a loan to get a house. And uh, she has, it's a big house and she wants to get out of six foster kids, you know. And then she wants a little job on the side so she could make enough money to qualify to get a maximum of the child tax credit, you know what I mean? So I get that money coming in from the um, uh, foster care system. And, and that the kids eating any little thing, and, and she's taking her money to pay up the mortgage on her house and get her a nice car and a nice life and her own children, send them up to wherever, go on a tour, you know, fix her nose and so on. I mean, you know, um, this is what I think is happening. Uh, you, you, you push them to get a degree, and then they think that uh, they should be making a six figure thing. And then someone will say, hey, I, I got you because I'm so smart. 
what would it be a Jordan Barra or a Jordan Lord? Uh, you know, I know to plan things, but you know, come on. I think get to pitch it and I'll run the name that I lock you up. You know, and, and if he thinks that way, then of course, what was the use of the education? Because it's supposed to help you to see the end game. Start drugs where it's going to end. Addicted, shot up, locked up. You know, that's it. You're going to fraud. That's where it's going to end. One day I'm from cycling. I see this guy going through the garbage. And uh, he has a checkbook looking to see if they're on used checks. I say, yo, man, why don't you leave that thing and go on, bro? I mean, if people throw away a check, and even if there's a, a check in there, you don't think that account is closed? You don't think that, you know, you have to put your ID on that? You don't think you have some problems? You're just thinking that, shucks, if I get $100 in this thing, and everything will be good. But then, 100 they end up with three years in jail or whatever. You know, so folks got to think right. And, um, uh, you know, if folks talk about a school in America, I don't see what you would do with them. Because, you know, the internet school, I think it's like pay for that or subsidize or whatever. Some get it pre subsidized. I mean, there's no excuse for anybody not who has ability to not really get it done. And uh, we need to find ways to know who really have the abilities and have the courage enough to say, you don't have the ability and, 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 and be fair because what happens in some situations only the blacks would, would seem to fall in that category. All whites supposed to go to Harvard and Yale and come to college. So, you know, uh, if we could have a very fair system, the tests are based on what we studied in school and not skewed to, you know, cater for whites or rich or whatever. Because uh, I know there's a, a psychological, sociological degree test, like LSAT. LSAT is a test. Law school admissions test is a test that white people are likely to pass because that is how white people think. Now, I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry to say that, but why guy told me that because that fictitious way I don't I don't know why folks think fictitious I mean you know uh, you know but anyway so uh, unless we could get that straight note man I think that uh, we're just going to end up with problems because these guys are going to be getting important jobs and, and they don't really qualify you know what I mean